Hey, my name is Joel, and this is my last episode of Have You Seen This? Yes, that was right.、Um, I'm gonna have my last episode of Have You Seen This? This time, I will give you a movie to watch after this, brother Mark. And after that, we will finish off. Have you seen this? I know it's terrible for all the fans, but we have to stop at some point because we just can't handle the fan mail anymore and stuff like that. So the last movie you pitched me was Dolan's Cadillac, with、uh, Christian Slater as、uh, the villain, which was a nice thing to see. He also has like an evil buddy, evil henchman,、uh, who the actor kind of looks like the poor man's Jason Clark, in my opinion. Now the protagonist is played by Wes Bentley, and、uh, he's married to that woman that Charlie Harper almost settled down for. So, are you sure this is what you really want to do? I'm sure. I will be talking a lot about the movie, and I am pretty sure that I will be spoiling one or the other thing. So, if you still want to watch the movie, this is my heads up for you. All right. So、um, this is one of those movies where it's kind of hard to be rooting for the protagonist. Uh, thing is,、uh, Wes Bentley is married to Emmanuel Vergier. I don't know, something like that. And she has witnessed Dolan doing a crime, and that is why she will be、uh, killed off pretty early in the movie. Wes Bentley then goes through、uh, a revenge montage where he's going crazy about that because it's his wife, and they were trying to have a kid and everything, and she was probably pregnant right before she died. Um, so he's going through that typical.、Um, he's angry and he wants to kill Dolan. Then he does try and follow him, but Dolan is up to him and warns him that he shouldn't do it,、um, and actually even leaves him alive, which is kind of interesting because、uh, he's he thinks that、uh, Wes Bentley does not have、uh, the guts to actually kill him. So he's just warning him to not、um, run after him anymore or or not to follow him anymore because it's just annoying, I guess. And Dolan is driving that Cadillac, which I don't really know why that movie is named after the Cadillac because it doesn't play such an important role. It could be just any car, and and it's not special Cadillac. It's it's like it's custom made or something, but it can't do anything. So it's I don't know. They could have named this differently. I don't know why they could have named the movie Dolan's Cadillac. Anyways,、uh, the final revenge plan of Wes Bentley then is because apparently he doesn't have the guts to shoot him in the face.、Um, he wants to dig a hole in the street,、uh, cover it up with like some something that looks like a street, and have Dolan drive in there with his Cadillac,、uh, which seems like a very complicated plan. So after the Cadillac is in the hole, so yeah, he's、um, been successful with that. Uh, he doesn't just want to leave him there or shoot him because apparently he doesn't have the guts to do that.、Uh, so he wants to bury him alive. He does have the guts to do that and lets the guy scream the whole time. I, I don't know, like if you're at that point of vengeance and and at that point of not really being human anymore,、uh, so deeply in into revenge uh, thought, um, I guess he could have just shot him. So it 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 seems a bit odd. But maybe it's just hard to imagine yourself in that place. So、um, he wants to bury him alive, and he's actually prepared like a, an excavator for that. He's because he's been building,、uh, working on a construction site, and stole it from there. And it's, it's not important. So he's got an excavator, and he's bringing up that dirt to bury、um, Dolan in, and and then he puts all the dirt next to the hole. And then starts shoveling it on with a shovel, and it's a huge hole. It's it's really big, so it's kind of like, what? Why are you spending so much time with that? Leaving himself time to to、uh, Dolan almost has a chance to free himself again because he's taking so much time shoveling him by hand、uh, into the ground,、um, and then also Dolan is Almost able to convince him that this is not a good idea and that he's going nuts as well, which is true. He's he's kind of a worse criminal, not worse than Dolan, but he is killing someone and taking pleasure in it, like very deeply and very disturbingly.、Um, so he's burying him in that hole, and、um, it's taking a long time. But apparently, he's able to do that all by himself, by hand. Then at some point he does use the excavator, but doesn't just just like once. It's 
it, it, the movie has some logic problems. Anyways, um, the movie was kind of meh. It's it's fine. I I, I don't think I would recommend it to anyone. Um, it's just it's just fine. It has some interesting ideas. It's not the typical uh, revenge story. And it's based uh, on a Stephen King short story, by the way. So I will give you a movie now. I will let you finish off. Have you seen this? Since I had the first episode and then you will have the last one. We'll just go full circle on this one. Um, I will give you a movie that I'm pretty sure you're going to like. That way it's not unfair that I'm giving you a bad movie because you can't punish me for it anymore. I will give you Scent of a Woman, which is a great movie. And uh, I'm sure you've heard a lot of references from and you haven't seen yet. It's the movie where Al Pacino goes hoo a lot. Have fun with this movie, brother, and goodbye, YouTube.